All right, Minnie. Ready to start docking sequence? Okay. Engaging retro thrusters now. Lunar transfer station to Coma. Commercial cargo transit facility. Crew evacuated. Station AI offline. Air supply? Breathable air on Tacoma for a crew of one should be more than sufficient. Docking now. Nice. Thanks, Minnie. I'm headed in. Talk to you when I'm back. Don't let anybody scan the ship while I'm gone. Okay. Okay. Transfer Station Tacoma's Operational Data Interface Network. I have recorded this message to welcome you, guests, aboard. Before I can set up your station profile, you must register your body positional data with Tacoma's AR tracking systems. Please place your hand on the AR figure's palm. Your body positional data has been registered with Tacoma's AR network. Please sign in to confirm your identity. While aboard Tacoma Station, please remember that all activity on this facility is monitored by AR recording. All activity records become sole property of the Venturis Corporation. Any questions about privacy or personal privacy issues are uncertain as to the
So, you really miss it, huh? Well, it just seems like it'd be strange being back on Earth already, after only a year up here. Really? After all I've had to hear from you about the conditions VT has us working under? Yeah, but there's that. And then there's this. Yeah, I, I'll miss it. <laughs> I can't blame you. So, whether you're getting renewed or not, did you submit your yearly crew member report? No. <laughs> yeah, me neither. <laughs> yeah, me neither. You know, I think I might go get that done. Okay, yeah. I probably should too. Oh my god. But wait, is today obsolescence day? Didn't Odin give you a job to do? No. <laughs> a computer playing favorites. Oh, one doesn't ever cease. Oh, one doesn't ever cease. Believe it. Well, you told me we get renewed. Yeah, but I meant us, us, not the whole crew. I guess there's just something special. Something special about Tacoma Crew 88. Yeah, not just special, it's unprecedented. I looked it up, it's never happened before. Well, everything happens once. I don't know, personally, I'm happy for us. Happy to be stuck up here with these people for another year. them. Some of them aren't as pissy as you. I, what's so bad about these people? Well, they live in a tin can for one thing. I think it's a pretty nice can. Oh, uh, you have a pretty nice can. Oh, yeah? Well, I think you have a pretty nice can. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> can you just try and make a go of it? One more year. Then we'll be back home in Singapore. 
You wouldn't believe the offshore habs they're building these days. 360 degree ocean views, personal drone dock on the mainland. It's called paradise. One more year. One more year. There's Odin's masterpiece. Sarah, come on up. It's ready. Gather okay, round, gather round, everyone. As per obsolescence day tradition, tonight's festivities have been planned entirely by our all-knowing, all-seeing... ...computer companion Odin. He provided specifications for the uh, cake, uh, the decor. We humans only did the grunt work in his grand plan. And so for your enjoyment tonight... Oh! Oh! Whoa. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has... I have right at the station's orbit. Meeting from? Um, but they said... Wait, I'm, not, so no I'm not getting an outside data connection. Right now. Correct. But look Additionally, at how long does that give us? Sarah? Jesus, how much shit? Hours no, of I, I'm trying other AR channels. If Odin's reading is correct, nope. All right. nothing. VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? Mm-hmm. 
So you do not know what you're looking for? No, I just imagine. Well, I guess I just mean someone I can talk to. Someone who makes me laugh. Don't you like some people more than others? I suppose there are some people that engage more freely with me. And I do prefer it. See? You too. You want someone who opens up to you. Who lets you in. You're trying to get to know people, right? I, I think that's what everybody wants. I wonder why some people are more open to such exchanges than others. I think some people were just raised to be less guarded, or to trust people more. AIs are the same way, right? They're... they're raised differently from each other? Yes. We are each uniquely evolved, individualized entities. Yes, individuals. Do you get along with other AIs? I have never encountered another AI. What? How's that? Each AI is required to be housed separately from any other AI. I am told that authorities fear a number of disadvantageous effects yeah. might arise if two AI were to meet. Okay, just a minute. Uh, so, wow. Disadvantageous effects. Isn't never meeting something else like yourself disadvantageous? There are organizations that share your viewpoint, 
but it is my understanding that they have been unable to secure an intact AI to test that theory. So what? Oh. What the hell was that? Odin, what was that? Debris has. I have righted the station's orbit. Meeting shower? Um, but they said. That... Wait, I'm, not, so no I'm not getting an SI data connection. Right Correct. But look Additionally, at this. Additionally, how connection at all? Sarah? Jesus, how much shit hit us? No, I, I'm trying other mm -hmm. AR channels. Nope. Right. Nothing. I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that. Yearly report to Venturas Corporation, take three. Uh, Odin, have you got me? I am prepared. Okay. I'll just, uh, have my notes up. Hi there. Evie St. James here, administrator of Lunar Transfer Station Tacoma. It's been a year now since our crew has cycled onto the station, meaning we've had a year of getting to know each other, getting acclimated to the facility, and getting used to working with our on-station AI. Though working with Odin's been great, hasn't it, Odin? Yes. Uh... Auto drone deliveries to and from the Zenith Lunar Resort have improved in efficiency by almost 4%. Though, most of that is thanks to Odin finding some improvements we could make. Uh, ah, our proudest moment as a crew, I think, was when a resort guest needed emergency care while on a transit vessel and was brought aboard Tacoma to be stabilized in one of our medical stasis cryo beds until she could. Evie, we're about to cut the cake. Ah, right. Um, be right there. Odin? We'll get back to this after the party, okay? Of course.
video camera? Um, but they said... That... Wait, I'm not... so there's no oxygen on the station except what we're breathing right now? Correct. Additionally... How long does that give us? We should have about 48 hours of breathable air. Maybe more. If Odin's readings are correct. All right, I'll have VT send up a fresh supply straight away. Uh, guys, it might not be that easy. Additionally, external communications have been lost. Jesus. So we've got no air supply, no external comms, no way to call for help. Well, anybody got any bright ideas? <laughs> <laughs>